to be here. Woo! I'm happy to be up here. Real people, real stage, real comedy happening. I appreciate you guys coming out tonight. Some of y'all dressed up just for me. I appreciate it. Let's get this out of the way. We vaccinated? Yeah. We vaxxed. Vax City. Vax City, bitch, right? Vax City. Which one'd you get, though? Did you get the Indica or Sativa? Which one'd you get? Did you get the Indica or Sativa? I got the Moderna. That's the Indica. Yeah! Right? So you guys, you got the Pfizer. That's the Sativa. And then the Johnson & Johnson, that's the hybrid, right? And you, you just hit it once, and you're good. You hit it once. That's it. Right? Some of us got dishonorably vaccinated. That means we just fucking got COVID. Yeah, I fucking got COVID. Oh. These people, they're so proud of themselves, too. You talk to these people, they're so proud of themselves. Actually, I already had COVID. So, I have the antibodies. Get the fuck away from me. That's all. Because that's how they are, right? Like, no, don't worry about it, bro. I'm good. I already had it. I'm like, yeah, but what does that do for me? I'm gonna get them away from me, bro. Irresponsible fuck, get out of here. They don't, or anybody have this guy, the guy who had it, but he had it in 2014? Anybody have that friend? Anybody have a friend that had it in 2014? Anybody know that guy? My buddy was like, hey, man, I already had it, I'm good. I'm like, what? And he's like, bro, remember that thing I had with my throat back in 2014? We couldn't figure out what it was. I'm like, yeah? He's like, fucking COVID, bro. <laughs> Okay. Pro science, you know what I mean? <laughs> Pro science on that one. I was talking to this girl, dude. She had fake eyebrows, fake eyelashes, nose job, lip injections, fake pity, ass injections. Talking about, I don't trust GMOs. <laughs> like, bitch, you are a GMO. What are you, what are you talking about? My other buddy was like, yo, don't get the vaccine, bro. They're gonna put a microchip in you and follow you around all day. I was like, bro, I'm Iranian. I figured they're falling in on that. There's nothing new here, bro. There's nothing new. Or how about, I fucking hate this. I go to shake somebody's hand, and I do this, and then they do that. So then I do that, and then they do this, and then they do that, and then they do this. So then it just turns into rock, paper, scissors for fucking 20 minutes. Oh, my God. God, bro. That's why now I just walk up and I'm just doing that already. I'm just like, hop in whenever you're ready. I don't know which way you're going to do. I don't know what this is anymore, bro. It's like that 90s game, bop it, twist it, grab it, pull it, just go. Whenever you're ready. Just... Or some people try to do this one, you know what I'm talking about? They do this one too, so then you gotta fucking bring all three of these into the fucking match. You gotta try to... That's why when they gave us the shot, they had us do this shit. Right? Because they're like, just get ready, bro. This is the rest of your fucking life right here. This is what you're going to be doing. This is the rest of your fucking life. This is what you're going to be doing. This is the rest of your fucking life. I was like, that's great, man. That's great. Oh, man. I can't believe it. That's why, like, lately I don't mind doing, like, the smaller shows like this either. Because, like, even if it's not the case, we can just blame it on COVID. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, yeah, bro, we sold, like, 800 tickets. But they said, like, only 17 people could be up in there. So. <laughs> Fucking Newsome, bro, I don't know. It's just... Uh, one thing that pissed me off was in the beginning of COVID, one of the symptoms that they said to check for was shortness of breath. And I'm fat and smoke weed, so I already have that. <laughs> okay, so I was walking, and I was like, oh my god, do I have COVID, or did I just go up a slight incline? <laughs> it's the worst, man. If you hear me coughing, I was smoking before the show. So it's chronic, not COVID, okay? It's chronic, not COVID. Or like, out of all these scientists, professors, doctors, laboratory people, they got together for all this. There wasn't one person at the meeting that was like, hey, um, how about we make the vaccination card the wallet size? <laughs> <laughs> Normally they do three by five, four by six, five by seven, 4.12 by 3.14. Okay, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that, that makes sense. 
makes a ton of sense. Like I said, I'm just happy to be up here, guys. I'm so happy to be up here with you guys. I'm just happy to be up here because now that I'm up here, I know I time my edible perfectly. You know what I mean? So like 38 minute activation time. I was like, there it is. Perfect. Everybody looks good, man. The other day I got so high, I was looking for my cell phone under my bed with the light on my cell phone. <laughs> You ever done this one? I couldn't find my phone, so I told my girl, hey, call my phone. She called my phone, I heard it in the living room. I'm like, hang up, it's in the living room. I go in the living room, I pick up my phone, I said, one missed call. I'm like, who the fuck called me? <laughs> this guy, bro. This guy. The weed is too strong, okay? That's what I'm saying, the weed is too strong. That's all I'm saying. Speaking of some strong weed, Shikari Richardson got kicked out of the Olympics. You guys heard about this. Got kicked out of the Olympics for testing positive for cannabis. And that's performance enhancing. When I was growing up, they said it made you dumb and slow. <laughs> Apparently, it makes you the fastest person on earth. <laughs> do some more research. Do some more research, that's all I'm saying, just do some more research. And I think something's up with this, guys. Right? I think Shikari's being targeted. I think the Olympics are targeted. Because how is she the only person that tested positive? This is the first Olympics with a fucking skateboarding team. You're telling me those guys tested positive? Six of those dudes got kicked out of high school for selling weed. You're telling me those guys fucking tested positive? Get the fuck out of here, bro. According to Olympics, up until 1936, being black was a performance enhancing drug. So, and they only let that shit slide because they want to watch Hitler be pissed off as Jesse Owens flew across the fucking finish line. America, you know what I mean? I love that shit, man. Do you guys watch the Olympics? You guys watch them? I love watching the Olympics because, like, America, we're this like melting pot of every nation. Right, so when we're in the Olympics, we're never afraid of the other countries because like we have one of them too. <laughs> so like China sends out their figure skaters. And they're like, get out there, Nathan Chen. <laughs> Korea sends out one of their snowboarders. We're like, you go get them, Chloe Kim. <laughs> Latvia sends out their speed skiers. America's like, what the fuck is Latvia? <laughs> <laughs> we have one? Which country? Do we have one? Is it white people? Oh, it's white people? Okay, send the white people, go! <laughs> send the white people. Yeah, that, send them. Send them. I just love watching the Olympics because I love watching, you know, these people physically fit at the top of their game, living their best life. Because with everything going on right now, they're making me feel old. They're making me feel unhealthy. You know what I mean? Like soup plantation clothes. <sighs> soup plantation clothes. But we're fat people supposed to go to feel like they're eating healthy. You know what I mean? <laughs> Soup plantation clothes, because letting people eat 32 bowls of soup and salad was not a sustainable business model. Okay? We're gonna keep doing it. Man, I'm feeling old, feeling unhealthy. Been feeling old, because when we were younger, we used to run around trying to get a fake ID. This past year, I've been running around trying to get a real ID. What the fuck is this? <laughs> make you go to the fucking DMV? That's not cool, bro. I don't want to do that. Don't sign me up for that, bro. I don't want to do that. Make you feel unhealthy, bro. I saw this Carl Jr. commercial recently. They said, we're introducing fast foods first, 100% all beef hamburger. Like, what the fuck was in it before? I've been eating this shit for 30 years. You guys are just figuring this out? Oh, 
I say that, but my generation was the generation that drank Four loco. You remember that? We drank Four loco. We drank Four loco before they took the loco out of it. You remember that? The Four loco before we still had the loco in it. You remember that? By the way, if you drank that, you don't have to worry about what's in the vaccine. Right? You don't have to worry about what's in the vaccine. You're fine. Okay. I just feel like all of us that drank that Four Loco, we're gonna see a commercial on TV one day. That's like, if you drank Four Loco. Between 2008 and 2012, you may be entitled to compensation. We're gonna fucking do it! I knew it, man. Fucking knew it. That four loco, man. Crazy shit, dude. They're talking some crazy shit with everything going on. One of the ones that I heard recently, and it just this has come out from the beginning. They said all this started because a guy tried to eat a bat. You guys believe that? All this started because a guy tried to eat a bat? I don't know if I believe that, bro. A guy in a bat? Because we all saw Bruce Wayne fall into the little well, and he got surrounded by, like, the tornado of bats, right? And all that happened to him was he turned into a fucking superhero. So, if all this was started by a guy in a bat, then, like, Bruce Wayne is patient zero, okay? Go to him first. I'm just saying, Ozzy, Ozzy Osbourne ate a bat in the early 80s, and he's fine, okay? Well, actually, I don't know if he's fine, but he doesn't have COVID. Well, actually, hold on. Um, he might. That actually might. That might be what that is. You know what I mean? That might be what that is, actually. Never mind. We're going to have to edit this out. Um, Crazy shit. And like, I love, I love it, guys. I love doing comedy. Love DJing. You know, DJ camouflage. You know what I'm saying? All my friends, I appreciate it. God bless you, man. I know how to do you guys. You guys made this happen. And all my, all my friends, what they'll do is they'll always get me little camouflage gifts. You know what I mean? Like every birthday, Christmas. Oh, here's a little camouflage bear. Here's a little camouflage blanket. Here's a little camouflage hat. Which was fine until my house got covered in camouflage stuff, which isn't a good look for a 250 pound Iranian guy. You know? My friends come over and think like I'm planning something, they look like the fucking Unabomber, you know? They come in like, hey, are you planning something, buddy? What's up? I'm like, oh, DJ Camouflage, Camouflage, you bought me some of this stuff. It's that part of your fault. Okay. Like I said, I'm originally Persian. Um, sometimes I wish I was black so I could date Persian girls, you know? <laughs> Those are the brothers. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm a refugee. I immigrated here with my family. I know when I say refugee, the white people get scared. I'm sorry. Okay. White people, just think about it like this. You know how you guys love dogs, okay? I'm not a refugee. I'm a rescue. <laughs> Thank you for rescuing me. Wag my tail. Thank you. Appreciate it. We got any immigrants in the house tonight? Immigrants in the house? Make some, you guys all better make some fucking noise, okay? We're all fucking immigrants. Get the fuck out of here. Unless your name's like Chief Running Bear or some shit like that. We're all fucking immigrants. Get the fuck out of here. So I'm saying, man, like growing up here, a lot of times my friends would ask me, like, hey man, did you experience a lot of racism growing up here? Did you experience a lot of racism growing up? And I heard the typical stuff, right? Like, hey man, go back to your country. Hey, you should go back to your country. Hey, you should go back to your country. And like when Trump was president, I started hearing that stuff again. But it was just from my friends because they were worried about me, so it was like, bro, you should go back here. <laughs> uh, I don't know if you see what's going on, but you should go. And I'll go with you. If they got like a plus one, we can I'll go. Get out of here. Plus 
one. This ain't the club. It's not. Get out of here. I'll tell you guys, before I go, I just want to say, like, there's a difference, right, between immigrants and white people. It's not better. It's not worse. It's just different. Okay? Immigrants, we know where we're from. All right? You ask immigrants, hey, man, where are you from? Oh, I'm from Mexico. Hey, man, where are you from? Oh, I'm from India. Hey, man, where are you from? Oh, I'm from China. White people never know where they're from. <laughs> White people will know where their dogs are from, but they won't know where they're from. But you ask a white person, hey man, what kind of dog is that? Oh, it's an English Husky Terrier Retriever. I got all the papers. I can trace him back 100 years. He's a rescue. He's a rescue. I'm like, well, where are you from? They're like, I don't know. They either don't know or they gotta give you that long, drawn out answer. White people always do this, right? You're like, hey, where are you from? Well, I'm English, Irish, Dutch, Italian. You're like, oh, man. I gotta do a geography class just to figure out where you're from. And white people always end it the same way, right? I'm English, Irish, Dutch, Italian, and I'm 1 16th Cherokee. How did every white person in America become 1 16th Cherokee? You know this funny story? How this happen? It's like sometimes I feel like I ask white people where they're from and I end up in an episode of Animaniacs. Like, hey man, where are you from? Well, United States, Canada, Mexico, Panama. Guys, you were wonderful.